Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Friday, September 26, 2014. Okay, Beautiful Girl by Dan has just uploaded another video. Uh, before I jump into it and debunk it and offer him an opportunity to debate, I will um, address the fact that we've started this, or I shouldn't say I, Mark, actually a fellow YouTuber, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my Connecting Dots 2 channel and you'll see how uh, I uploaded a video starting this Fukushima boycott. Is it working? Absolutely. If you go see the videos here, just in the one he's uh, released uh, 12 hours ago, the one I'm about to debunk, um, there's only 430 views. It should be much higher. And even uh, the one he uploaded a day ago, normally in the past, uh, within 24 hours, his videos almost had 2,000 views. So it's dropping. Now, I'm, I'm not going to leave you links for those videos, but I will leave a link for this one if you haven't seen it yet. But basically, he snuck his camera in here to the Banfield Marine Research Center located right on the West Coast. And uh, for 17 minutes and 24 seconds, you'll get to hear how Beautiful Girl by Dana well, basically promotes himself, his website, and edits the entire interview, and he's did it secretly. The marine by uh, the director of the marine research center did not know he was being interviewed. He knows now. Oh, <laughs> he's upset. Yes, sir, Rebobs, and no, I didn't tell him. Other folks have told him it's disgusting. I'm not the only one that lives on the west coast, folks, who knows that everything that he says in his videos are absolute lies. So yeah, there's other ones on the, on the thing. Now, what's really odd about this that. If you've been listening how they've been telling you that the, uh, the starfish have been dying on the west coast because of the radiation of Fukushima, go listen to that video and you'll actually hear how there's, they've published two researches from two different universities. They've isolated the specific um, disease, the, um, I guess it's uh, some type of virus that's running around amongst these uh, uh, starfish. Regardless, the fact is it's not Fukushima and Beautiful Girl Dana, by Dana, well, doesn't want to make a big storm about that one. Instead, he's working on these white sea enemies that he's telling the director are supposed to be all over the rocks. So Beautiful Girl by Dana, I know you watch my videos. Here's my claim to you, buddy. So you're saying that these entire, all these rocks here have always been covered by these white sea enemies, right? The white plume sea enemies? Well, my challenge to you is go pull out some pictures of all of these rocks on the Sunshine Coast or anywhere else on the, sun, on the coastline here, all the way down to Mexico. Pull out these pictures showing us, or even here specifically in British Columbia, please, I want to see all these pictures that, from the past that show all these white sea enemies, okay? And don't show just one located picture of a small rock, okay? Because this is the scam you pull on your, your viewers. Uh, the smart viewer understands that you can't just show up one close-up close up picture and say, hey, you know what? It's all dead, and it should look like that everywhere, or whatever the case is. Um, yeah, show us some pictures from the past. He's not going to do that. He's afraid. So let's listen to the BS here, folks, because this latest one, this is where he gets really stupid. If we had 30,000 people come on board and give us a dollar each, we can get this job done. We can hire planes and helicopters and everything else. We hire local photographers at the community. As Zoe coming up the steps, so don't pay no attention to that. Okay, so yeah, I guess he just doesn't understand here. For him to make a claim, and in this latest video, it's again the same story that there's only 1% of the 1% that's left. That's right, 99.9% .9 of the marine life has disappeared according to his claims, but nobody else has seen it. But this guy here sitting in his scooter, sending out his friend along the coastline with a digital camera, has somehow come to the conclusion, hey folks, you better wake up because there's 5,548 species or whatever claim he's saying unbelievable folks so it's not a camera it's not a helicopter it's not a plane we don't need a news team on site what we need is a gamma spectrometer we need you to pull out some sea life and do some radiation testing none of that's taking place we've got some shaky camera work and unbelievable the stories that this guy says so again in this latest one here he continues on with this reactor 4 and uh, he, he just doesn't seem to understand that uh, there was re robotics involved. Oh, listen to this. This is where it gets really good. Hold on, hold on. Listen to this. Does that look like the integrity is intact there? Look at the homeless. Is that homeless up there or is that Photoshop? Well, this one is probably a homeless guy, but this one is not a human. See, you can see right through him. There's some going on here. That's Chernobyl. There's 600 uh, toilets. I'm you. When I watch his stuff... It's like, it's like, uh, I don't know, I get a kick out of it. I, I was getting mad at first, but I get a kick out of it. 
because I realized that this guy is so ridiculous. That that person is a real person. He wasn't photoshopped in, and um, they weren't homeless people. If actually, if you're a beautiful girl by Dana, that's the whole problem. This guy just showed up here recently, right? He's only been doing these Fukushima stories for nine months, and. Um, Basically, he's telling them all that it's been uh, homeless people there cleaning up. <laughs> he's so wrong. Uh, in the very beginning, we had about, I think it was three or four contracting companies, and each of these companies had hundreds of employees. I've talked about how uh, slowly, you know, but surely, um, the contracting companies started dwindling down, people started leaving, and yes, he's right. Eventually, one of the contracting companies started hiring homeless people. They were getting paid, no doubt about it, but... Uh, he goes on to talk about this Chernobyl thing, and um, he doesn't want to talk about robotics cleaning up at, our, at uh, reactor number four. It's the same old story again. Now, let's listen to this Chernobyl one, because again, it's false information, disinformation. It's like all the seagulls in Japan now are pooping out dirty bombs. This is Chernobyl. These guys were conscripted. These are trained to go do jobs. They're very healthy, they're very fit, they're very knowledgeable. They're, at, they're, very, they're very energetic to have people that are in charge. In Fukushima, there's nobody in charge. <laughs> What's he saying there? Chernobyl was one-third the size of Fukushima. Any of Fukushima's reactor. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Fukushima, there are three 100% meltdowns. Uh, they're not 100% meltdowns. We've never seen that on our planet before, directly into our ocean. And it's not all directly into our ocean either. I'm not going to apologize for anything that I'm doing. Sure. Are you kidding me? Have you ever seen the religious people out there sh just ripping off everybody? You got to sell your homes and give them your pensions, and nobody says nothing. They're up on TV doing it all the time, year after year, decade after decade. And I want to go out and see the health of the ocean, and we find out that almost all the species are missing except for a tiny handful, and that's not an issue. The issue is somebody bought me a boat. You guys got any idea how retarded you are? You got any idea how ninny you are? Why don't you shut up? Why don't you do the world a shut up? Just shut up. You don't know jack shit. You got three melted reactors at Fukushima, and all you're worried about is trying to demonize me or somebody else who wants to go find out? Don't you want to know? Yeah, I do. And that's why I've been asking for donations for a gamma spectrometer. I don't need a plane. I don't need a boat. Uh, as I mentioned here, if we're going to actually prove that the radiation from Fukushima is coming on our shoreline here on the West Coast, you actually need to be testing it. So you don't want to test it. You want to take pictures. We're sick of it. We live here on the West Coast. We know everything you're saying about this 1% of the 1% of the marine life is left. You know, you just heard him again here. Very few species left. Come on, folks. There's a whole bunch of us here on the West Coast. There's fishermen all over the place. You don't think that this, these nurseries were that badly affected that we see just maybe a glimpse of a story somewhere? How about you go check out some of the videos I put up here where I've shown there's lots of sea life here, a booming sea life here, okay? Go check my recent uploads if you're new to my YouTube channel. So I'm actually in contact uh, or about to contact Jeff Palco's parents because I'm tired of this bullshit. This scam has to end. I'm going to actually offer them an opportunity to come down here to the West Coast. Um, have, have them speak to some people, uh, some locals have been around here for a long time and uh, give them a whole lowdown here. I've actually done a little bit of research. I found out that they've been, not only has Jeff given them like 30,000 plus already towards this expedition for life, but I found out that they've known him, they've known, and I'm talking about Kevin D. Blanche, Thomas Ackerman, Beautiful Girl by Dana. They've all known that Jeff's been on medication, heavy medication for a while. And here's another thing a lot of us probably didn't know. Je uh, Jeff Palco actually paid for all three of those bozos, I believe. Uh, I believe Dana went also. There's three people, I believe, that were flown out to Jeff Palco's home, and he paid for their flights. And one of those people, uh, Kevin D. Blanche, actually took, uh, we don't know how many thousands, but took money away under the No Regrets Fund disgusting so they've been sucking money out of them all the time Jeff Paco's parents are going to hear about it and uh, I've downloaded some of Jeff's videos in case uh, more of them go missing and even the ones they've now just made unlisted I've, I've saved them all the uh, unlisted we can get around that it's when they make them private we can't download them anymore so uh, I also found a video here where Jeff is sending out well there we can't see how much money I, I figure it's a couple of thousand dollars is sent out the beautiful girl by Dana and the reason he said that uh, he s started sending money out is because he saw a beautiful girl by Dana. Okay, this fellow here, this scam artist here, go out with Jeff Daniels, or Terry Daniels, I should say, along the Sunshine Coast here on British Columbia. 
They went out for nine days. They traveled 200 kilometers of the coastline, they said, but then you find out they only spend actually three hours in a rented boat. So, and this guy's sitting on a scooter, so there's no chance they all did, they did the entire 200 kilometers. But they're claiming here they did 200 kilometers in nine days. There were no birds, they said, no crows, no insects. He said for 200 kilometers, all of the insects could fit in one glass. He went on to say that all of the kelp, all of the seaweed that they saw for 200 kilometers on the Sunshine Coast could fit in one pickup truck, the box of a one pickup truck. These are outright fraudulent lies. They sold them to Jeff. Jeff bought them. They're absolute lies, and that's where the scam begins, and this is where the RCMP are implicated. This is not going to, this is going to stop. There's no doubt about it. So the Chernobyl stuff, these people were called jumpers. If you want to follow it up, I'm not going to go over this. I've made, I've been making Fukushima stories since day one. Uh, as I said, Dana just showed up here nine months ago and it's pretty evident that it was all about uh, taking some of the truth stories and now scaring the bejesus out of everyone and, uh, well, going on a tour with a camera and not actually doing any reading. So his statement that the people were on the roofs for 15 seconds and they went home, absolutely false. I've known this. Anyone who has been following Chernobyl, we know this. Um, they were actually, well, this one person talks about being on the roof 23 times and the longest time was for two minutes and the shortest for 36 seconds. So yes, there was a lot of people here, even talk about at one time, up to 900 people that were waiting in line to go jump. Well, not actually, they weren't physically jumping, but they were getting into the hot uh, radioactive rooftop. So basically, I'll leave a link down below. You can read this entire story here. So there'll be no more propagating bullshit by somebody who's uh, just flabbing his gate on the internet, and no links to nothing. Again, here you talk about, they talk about um, how the workers, they, they had to leave uh, when they were exposed to two rotogens uh, radiations per day, okay? That's 240 millisieverts. You convert that, that works out to 48,000 dental x-rays. That's in one day. So once they reach up to 240, uh, they are off for the day. And it talks about that after suffering up to 25 of these rotogens of radiation, they were sent home, not in 15 seconds. Again, someone's flabbing his gate doesn't know what he's talking about. So it, uh, the real numbers, apparently, um, the 600,000 wasn't just all those soldiers. That's the other BS. But I mean, I can't make video, video, video after video debunking them all the time. It's just getting ridiculous here. I'm not a uh, beautiful girl by Dana, day in, day out debunker. But the links are down below if you want to reach it, uh, read it for yourself here. They talk again how the, the initial here uh, at the peak, right, of these 600 workers, and some of them were forestry workers, uh, various workers here were involved in this whole process and as you can see it wasn't all about picking up and going on the rooftop some of it had to do with uh, the filtration of the water in the sarcophagus but basically and uh, in this reactor number um, the cleanup we have it at Fukushima right now he keeps saying how it's a homeless people he avoids the fact that we have robots here okay back then the, the humans were referred to as bio robots at uh, Chernobyl at uh, Fukushima, we actually have operated cranes by robotics. The, the workers sit in the shield. Anyways, I'm not going to get into that. Many already know this. As far as a debate, but first, I want to talk on uh, <laughs> connecting dots to my YouTube channel, Fukushima Day 1205. Go check this out. This is the whole reason why I'm trying to raise funds for a gamma spectrometer, okay? This is very important. You're being lied to, even by the FDA, okay? There's no doubt about it here. They're not going to do proper testing. I'll do the proper testing. No funny business with me. Okay, as far as the debate, come on down here. I know many of you don't want to come to my forum, connectingdots1.com. Uh, I can't uh, leave any comments in my own videos. I've mentioned at least, what, six times. I, I can't leave comments. Some of you don't get that. I can't contact you when you leave me comments in my message box saying, hey, Connecting Dots, can you contact me? Can you PM me? Can't do that. You can leave me a message or email me at uh, cd1, that's the letters, cd with the number one, at connectingdots1.com, that's my email for my YouTube channel, or better yet, I'm asking for a beautiful girl by Dana, no, not all the shields are going to come out and swear and call me all kinds of names, okay, you're just going to end up getting banned at this forum anyways, but a beautiful girl by Dana, and anyone here else that believes is bullshit, if you want to debate it in a real sensible manner, no swear words, I've opened up this forum here, this thread I should say, at this forum, Lunatic Outpost. The links are down below and come on out here. Let's get into it. Uh, I'm at page four and at this point here while well, we tackle the Ebola thing and the uh, colloidal silver because the latest information here is that the uh, 
Well, there was a warning uh, letter set out, uh, sent out to these different colloidal uh, companies that were making the claims. And uh, well, basically, um, who I, I don't support this uh, Mike Adams guy, but basically uh, from Natural News, he talks about, uh, or Mike the Range or whatever his name is, he talks about uh, the very strong points here, how they've already got drugs that are approved. Okay, hope you enjoyed the update.